What's making baseball good is this ball, uh, ballpark down in Buffalo. I mean, what what is this joint that the Jays are playing at? Is that a schoolyard down there, or is it just <laughs> something where the players feel comfortable? What are like we we're talking about the dimensions? Is it something that's that egregious where it's noticeable, or what's going on down there? Well, it, it's a minor league ballpark, and again, in this crazy, bizarre season, we all have to make adjustments and be flexible to all sorts of changes. It's, uh, you know, its dimensions are, are small, but they're not tiny. It's a, it's a minor league park, and they're not going to make some tiny, tiny minor league park. It's close to Toronto. It's the best they could do. And in these strange, strange season, uh, you just got to take it, and you can't complain, good or bad, because this is the way it's going to be every day for the rest of the year. Yeah, that's the truth. Uh, 25 home runs hit collectively over uh, five games down in Buffalo, and the Jays had 17 of those, but they they lost. They were they were sub 500. They went two and three, and they're sub 500 on the season, and it's disappointing because uh, on top of all that, Bo Bichette goes down over the weekend, and some reports indicating he could be out as long as a month. And if that's the case, and their way out of it, maybe they shut him down for the year. But prior to the injury, uh, Bo was as hot as anyone in baseball or close to it. He, I believe he had an OPS up over 1,100, and he's young. You know, he hasn't even collectively played a full season yet in the majors. But when you think of the best shortstops in the league, you know, I think consensus would come up with names like Lindor and Story and Turner. Uh, how close is Bo, in your opinion? Is Bichette creeping up into the top three or four of shortstops in baseball right now? Uh, no, there are too many great ones from Javi Baez and Corey Seager. And there, there are some great, this is a golden time for shortstops. And he just hasn't played enough to be in that top three or that top six or seven. But this year, he's been fantastic. I mean, I'm just looking at the whole body of work and guys who've proven much more than him. But he's hitting 360. He can run. He's been a really good hitter since the day he arrived in the big leagues, and that is so unusual for anyone to have this kind of impact playing a defensive position like that, and not just for an average, but with power and everything else. He is a tremendous young player. He just needs a few more games before we're going to start to elevate him to you know, a place where guys have been doing it for five, six, seven years. Yeah, I think that's fair. We're just we're trying to jump the gun here because that's that's what we focus on. And you know, even his counterpart, his, who who we were focused on even more before they came up here, and a guy like Vladdy Guerrero Jr. Vladdy had another slow start, but he's really starting to pick it up. We issued, uh, or we we detailed his stats over the past you know eleven games, forty at bats. He's creeping up at uh, an OPS of around one thousand. He's hit a couple of home runs. He's not striking out as much. He's walking a little bit more. Uh, but that's probably been the more uh, focal position and focal player up here, or a player that's been focused on more, Tim, because of, of kind of his, I wouldn't say a disappointing rookie year, but based on the hype, it was almost unprecedented and maybe impossible to meet, but he didn't meet it, and this year it was a bit slow, and now he's over at first base, but he's starting to come around, and he's still young. So wh where's your head at when it comes to Vladdy yeah. Jr. And, and his forecasting his future? Look, he's a great young hitter, and he's going to be a great young hitter for several years. Then he's going to be a great veteran hitter. That's how good he is. However, you guys know this. This is a hard – it's a really hard game to play. And just when they get a little book on you, they realize whatever it is, Laddie has trouble with this pitch here. So they start throwing this pitch here – all the time. Then he makes an adjustment, which he's starting to do now. I have no worries whatsoever how productive that guy is going to be. George Brett told me a story once that his first year in the big leagues, he was four for 40. And when the manager, Jack McKeon, came looking for him when he was on the bench, first when his name wasn't in the lineup, he was relieved, he told me, because he said, I didn't want to play because I was so bad. And then late in the game, when the manager came looking for him as a pinch hitter, he was hiding from the manager because he didn't want to play, because he didn't want to fail. George Brett, who became one of the great hitters we've ever seen, speaking again to the degree of difficulty. And once it gets in your head as a young player, oh, my gosh, I'm not the best hitter on the team. 
I'm not the best hitter in the game every time. That gets to you, and I'm sure that's happened to Vladdy to some degree, but he will come out of it, and he will be really, really good before this is over. 